This is your chance to remind your loved ones how special they are by saying Happy Valentine's Day! Our dessert menu item of the day is Valentine Cakesicles! If you love cake pops, cakesicles have more cake and are even easier to make. Especially with cake mix, these are tie-dyed on the inside and stunning on the outside. So let's make them together and be sure to keep on watching! All you are going to need is a silicone cakesicle mold, which I will link down in the description box, some wooden popsicle sticks, your choice of chocolate, either Merkin's brand or Candy Mouse or Gris, your favorite flavor cake mix, and a tub of frosting. Super easy guys! So to get this chocolate mounted, I'm bringing a large pot of water to a boil. Go ahead and remove from the heat once that's boiling, and place the chocolate in a heat proof bowl over the pot. These are pink vanilla, salted caramel, and white chocolate if you are wondering. Now I'm stirring that until completely melted and smooth. I don't recommend using the microwave, it is more likely to burn and that makes the chocolate dull. We don't want anything dulling the shine of our pretty cakesicles. We're ready to pour a spoonful into the mold and spread it evenly with a brush. Use dabbing strokes over any areas that are bare. Before the chocolate completely sets, you want to insert your popsicle stick as a placeholder so that the chocolate doesn't harden over that slot. If you want to make a glitter casicle, it is really convenient to take the disco dust that you want to use and brush it directly into the mold. This clings to the silicone really well, so don't worry, the glitter isn't going anywhere and you can apply the layer of chocolate over that just as we did before. These cakesicles are all good to go and we can pop them in the fridge for 10 minutes. While we wait, we can prepare our cake filling. I bake these cupcakes ahead of time using the cake mix. I find them even easier to crumble up since they are smaller. And next, although it is tasty, I'm only mixing in a teaspoon of frosting. It is important not to use too much of this because it can make the mixture too greasy and that will cause your cakesicles to leak. And guys, if you are new, make sure you join the party and subscribe to my channel if you enjoy seeing fun new recipes every week. I just kneaded this together into a ball. The consistency is similar to a Play-Doh and we are going to set this aside and cover with plastic wrap to prevent it from drying out. It's time to check up on the chocolate. First, carefully remove your popsicle sticks. If anything cracks, no worries. We are going back in with the brush and reinforcing everything with another layer. Just make sure to go over the spot with the cracking and don't forget to reinsert your popsicle stick. Before we can add our cake, they need to chill once more for 10 minutes. I'm using two different colored cakes for a tie-dye effect and it's super fun. Have your cake mixtures ready and some melted chocolate. Then take a patch of each color to alternate them. I'm tightly packing them together to create a layer. And remember, there is chocolate going on top of the cake, so you don't need a lot. After that, push your stick until it reaches the reference point on the mold and make an indentation right above it so we can seal that with more chocolate. I'm taking small amounts on the spoon and moving it around similar to flood icing on a sugar cookie. This technique makes the back of your cakesicle look neater and smoother than using a spatula. Only 10 more minutes in the fridge and it's almost decorating time. Release the top portion from the mold first, then push your stick out through the slot. These look beautiful plain, but it's almost Valentine's Day, so I might as well show you some festive designs. On this white cakesicle, I drizzled red chocolate and added some sugar decorations. How adorable are these lips? To stick that on, I'm using corn syrup because it's clear and no mess. Next are mini hearts I cut out of fondant. They complement these heart sprinkles really nicely. Also, I placed sugar pearls in the empty spaces. And of course, I had to top it off with edible glitter. 
we transformed a plain white cakesicle into something very special. This pink cakesicle is inspired by ice cream. I put milk chocolate inside of a squeeze bottle to outline and fill in a drip design and made a sparkly cherry out of red fondant. And it's not an ice cream sundae without sprinkles, so last are the jimmies. The caramel cakesicle was made into a bear by attaching fondant circles on the top edges. I flared them out a bit to look like ears. For his beady eyes, I used black sugar pearls and I created his snout out of a fondant circle and heart sprinkle. He looks very cute. Next, I took the other white cakesicle and brushed on white pearl dust. Then I applied hearts of different sizes and colors in random spots and finished with more sugar pearls. This is a classic Valentine look. Another trending design this year is after applying your luster dust, make a side drizzle on the top portion and add a mix of Valentine sprinkles and pearls. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and you get a box of cake mix to make these yummy treats. As always, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.